today I'm filming in New York and it's about time that I checked out the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. That's right, I actually said I am in New York right now. And you know what, I have not checked out the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. And yes, that's a mouthful. But I'm super pumped because this is a printer I haven't checked out yet and I'm all the way from Wisconsin to New York today to do that. I'm actually in town for a really cool event that happens tomorrow night, but today we get to see what makes this printer special. But the first thing we have to do is get it unboxed and built, so let's do it. Let's do this. So right out of the box in true Creality fashion, we see everything is packed in foam very nicely and very tightly. They do pack things really good. So in the box, we have our manual. We have a little bit of filament, which we can do right there. And our bag of tools. We have the screen, power cable, spool holder, and then this foam comes out. Next, we have the gantry, and it comes all pre-built for us, so we're gonna set that down. More foam, more foam, more foam. And there is our base. Very nice injection molded, and uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty solid base. Definitely an upgrade from the very first Ender 3 I had. All right, to get it built, I went to the uh, installation guide here. A very thick, really nice paper, a lot of uh, color instructions, and it actually isn't bad for a manual. So nice work on the manual Creality. There's a lot of pictures in here, which definitely will make it easier on the newer users that are trying to build your machine. So the first thing we wanna do is put the gantry on the frame. So we wanna take our gantry and drop it on the frame like this. Then we're gonna grab some nicely labeled screws. We're gonna screw this up from the bottom and get this gantry secured. So I got the gantry on and it is super simple. It's just uh, three screws up from the bottom of each side of the gantry, so six total. And then there's two actually in the back that lock the, um, and there's actually two screws in the top in the rear that lock the gantry down as well. So it's nice and secure, it's not going anywhere. So the next thing we need to do is turn this bad boy around and get our screen put on. So we're gonna do that by sticking it right here on the side. We're gonna, we're gonna put three screws into it and then plug our cable in like that. Okay, as you can see now, the screen is attached and it is ready to go. The next step is actually wiring up this bad boy, which is really simple. Uh, they make everything pretty simple and easy. So all we have to do is plug in our wire in the back here for our Z motor. We're gonna run this up and we're gonna plug in our X gantry motor, which is in the top back here. And then there's actually a little clip and I'll show it in B-roll that the cable clips into so it stays in place, which is really nice. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I need to plug in the hot end and we do that by bringing it through not over the top, but through. We open up our little clips and it just pushes right in. So the hot end is now secured. All the cabling is done with the X, the Z, and the hot end. So we're good to go to the next step. So the last thing we need to do is get the spool holder on the top of the machine and that's right here. And that's held on with two bolts. Once that's done, it's time to power this thing up and see how it works. Now that it's all together, it's time to plug this thing in and get it powered on. A quick shout out to AliExpress for letting me film this printer here in New York. They have the biggest sale of the year going on right now with their Black Friday deals. And if you check out the discount codes right now in the description, and I'll tag them in the comments. So check it out. Thanks AliExpress for letting me film this printer. Now that everything's ready, it's time to load some filament up in this bad boy. Unfortunately, all they gave us was this little sample here. And I'm in a place that doesn't have any extra filament. So we're gonna do this test using what came with the printer, Creality. Please start sending bigger spools or test rolls of filament with your printers. Beginners would love to have something to test on that's not just this much. Other than that, everything's been awesome so far. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna cut my filament at a 45 degree angle, like we always do. But it's time to load this and get it going. Now it's time to get the memory card in and get this thing printing. It does go in upside down and it clicks in like that. So this thing is ready to print. But before we do that, we should check out some of the things that make this thing way better than the original Ender 3. The build area is 220 by 220 by 250 tall. 
And that's a pretty good sized build area, about the same as it's been on the Ender 3 since the beginning. There's auto bed leveling and it runs through the whole sequence as you can see here. As you can see on the screen, it's definitely not a touch screen, but it does have this dial here and you can turn it and it's actually very responsive. It allows you to roll through the menus much faster than the touch screens normally. So that's kind of a nice thing. And it's an Ender 3, so I wouldn't expect anything less. It does use the Creality Sprite hot end, and I've had pretty good luck with that hot end. It's not bad, and it's, it's actually been pretty good for me. As you can see here, it does have dual lead screws, and they are belt driven. So that's gonna keep that X gantry nice and straight and level for you. There is only one motor on that dual lead screw system, but that should be okay for the under three. The gantry is really not that big. So you should be fine. Not only does it have dual Z lead screws, it has dual Y linear shafts as well. So that's gonna keep your bed nice and straight on those shafts. And it's definitely a step up from the original Ender 3. One last spec we should talk about is that they say this is much faster than the original Ender 3. But we're gonna find out. I think we should put that to the test. Let's print a Benchy. And just like that, the Benchy is done. It actually doesn't look too bad and it only took about an hour on this machine. There's some stringing, a little wispies inside of there, but overall not terrible for a Benchy. Pretty good for an Ender 3 variant. To be specific, the Ender 3 V3 SE variant. But not too bad, overall for the Benchy test, it functioned pretty well. So overall, I've had this thing pretty much all day here in New York and it's not too bad it's super easy to build maybe 10 to 15 minutes tops if you've never built a printer before maybe 20 minutes ease of use pretty dang easy to use definitely easier than my original ender 3 that i started with in 2018 uh, the auto bed leveling and all the other really good features that they built into this thing for an amazing price of I think $199. You definitely can't beat that, especially with that Sprite extruder. Like I said, there's some great discount codes below in the description and in the pinned comments that'll save you some money for Black Friday. And you can get this thing for well under $200 to your house. Thanks again to AliExpress, New York. I'm gonna come check you out now. It's time for some pizza. See ya. Also, if you haven't checked out this one, you wanna do that now.